you're looking at video from one of President Trump's latest campaign rallies. This one in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Thousands of supporters fill the audience. The rally coming just days before the president's trip to Greenville. Local health leaders are concerned about COVID-19 and how a rally could impact the spread. We have team coverage of the preparations for the president's visit to the east. We begin with nine on your side's Madison Forsey live at the rally site at Pitt Greenville Airport in Madison. What's the advice from health experts for people going to that rally? They say it's the three W's. Wear a mask, wait your distance, and wash your hands. It's the same message that health leaders have been preaching since the pandemic started. And if the rally here at PGV is anything like the events that we've already seen, you might be hard pressed to find a mask or anyone social distancing. The Pitt County Health Director John Silvernail says anytime you bring a large group of people together, there's a risk COVID-19 could spread. The doctor says because of security concerns surrounding the president's visit, local health officials have not been involved in planning. Silvernail knows there are concerns about the virus, but he says the president and people attending the rally, rally have a right to be there. The doctor believes Pitt County has had a handle on COVID-19 cases, and he would hate to see another spike. We have been lucky we did not see one after Labor Day. Um, we really have not seen much of a spike with the opening of public schools. So I'm going to hope for the best, but we'll be prepared for the worst if, it, if cases do happen. There are other large gatherings happening tomorrow. Groups opposing the president will hold events in Greenville tied to tomorrow's start of early voting. But Silvernail says if we do see a bump in cases, it's going to take up to two weeks for them to determine if that bump is connected to the rally. Shayla. Madison, what are you hearing from people locally about the rally and more COVID cases? Well, a lot have, of people have chimed in on our WNCT Facebook page. Many people are excited about President Trump coming to coming to Greenville and the excitement that the rally will bring. But others say that they are nervous about that potential bump and think that a rise in cases here in Greenville will be inevitable. For now in Greenville, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.